Part 1 Tutorial Introduction What is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and is used to mark up the page for styling with CSS. Who should take the tutorial? Web Developer Bootcamp is designed for both the novice who is learning web development for the first time and the experienced developer who has been away from it for a while and just needs a refresher. The tutorial will introduce and explore how tags and their attributes form the foundation to creating a web page. You will become familiar with tags and how and where they are used. Required Software For the tutorial, you'll need an editor. You may use your favorite editor if you do not have one we suggest Note++. It's free. For a browser, we recommend Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, or Safari. We recommend you have a notepad and pencil for taking notes. Subscribe to JSBin. It's free. And we'll use that to communicate with each other if we have problems with our uh, websites or any of the code. Log on to W3Schools and download their cheat sheets. And most of all, have an attitude to succeed and have fun. Experience? Absolutely no experience necessary. Just the ability to have fun and succeed. Be sure you organize your work into various folders so you know where your work is at and you don't have to go fumbling around and try to find it. It's nothing worse than losing your work. Create folders such as HTML, CSS, and places to keep your image. You may also want to keep a JavaScript folder. The course consists of six parts. The intro, which we're going through now. HTML basics and CSS. Then we'll step it up with HTML5 and CSS3 in JavaScript and jQuery. What in the world is a doc type? A browser needs to be kept informed as to how to display the document and what type of document to display. Dependent on what doc type or document is being displayed determines the doc type to be used. The doc type is the first element on every HTML page and is not case sensitive. There's a new standard for doc types brought to you by HTML5. The above doc type is the new HTML5 standard and will work with older HTML documents including 2.0 and 3.2. Let's look at some tips that Pop has for us. Always back up your work. Boy, we can't stress that one enough. There is nothing worse than to lose your work or can't find where it's at. This is why we said make folders for things. Do not wait until you're finished with a project. It would be a disaster to lose even one day's work. Make it a habit to back up your work at the end of every day or, if you're more ambitious, at the end of every hour. Let's see what we learned so far. A doc type describes to the browser what type of document is being created and how to render it. The doc type is not case sensitive and is always placed as the first element on the HTML page. Homework assignment. Yep, you got homework. Locate a website you like, any website, and open the source code to see how the page is constructed. Do this for several sites. Notice how the tags create the page and how they are used. Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial introduction. Please provide us any feedback, questions, or suggestions you may have via YouTube comments or private message. We appreciate your feedback and will respond as soon as possible. For support, you may also use pops2cents at gmail.com. Our next lesson will be Tags are the building blocks of HTML. Thank you for watching.